Today we're going out to Sleepy Creek Farm, a rabbit breeder, uh, probably about an hour, hour and 15 minutes away. Um, we're going to be picking up two new red New Zealand rabbits. Yes. So oh. this is the, <laughs> the dough that we're going to be getting. Yep. And uh, the breeder is going to tattoo the ear. Just getting uh, some ink in our tattoo pen here. It works kind of like a fountain pen. You just kind of let it suck up a little bit of ink and then it'll be ready to go. And I'm going to, I swaddle mine. I'm going to go ahead and get that chair over here. Okay. I just have a way that I do it that works for me. Oh, and dogs. And the tattooing is just to Perfect. confirm her breeding or uh, identifying mark. Okay. <laughs> so it goes with her pedigree. So she'll have an ear number, and that ear number will be on her pedigree. And also, if you have a whole yard full of red rabbits, sometimes you lose track of who's who. Yeah. And we have our assistants here, Tank and Sage. Yeah. <laughs> this swaddling dogs. works well for vetting. You can pretty much expose whatever area you need to work on if you have to vet an animal that won't hold still. So, like if it was a back leg, I would just leave the back leg exposed and you have a safe restraint. And um, rabbits release endorphins when they're squeezed. Mm. So swaddling them kind of helps calm them. I know, honey. All right. I'm just gonna let her let her, let her get over it for a minute, and we'll re-swaddle. Some of them are just sensitive. It's not necessarily even that it's hurting. It's just the vibration and the touching that they react to. Do you want to see how she's swaddling? So I like to have just a certain amount of towel on this side and I just get it real tight and pull this real tight too. So you're just kind of locking wow. her in. And then it want to cover her eyes and stuff. Yep, that's yeah. what it does, and it puts some positive pressure on her. We got two more letters to go, honey. And I know. Make a nice little F. Sometimes you'll see that ear just to be a little bit floppy just from the blood flow and inflammation, you know, for the first day. But then after that, it doesn't really bother them. You all right, sweetie? Yes. Tell us real quick what the name of your operation is. This is Sleepy Creek Farm. We yeah. raise New Zealand rabbits in all the different colors. So this is a nice red doe. Oh, I know. How long have you been breeding rabbits? Um, I started raising meat rabbits about 20 years ago, mm -hmm. and I have slowly um, 
focused on the New Zealand breed, and as I focused on that breed, I started going to rabbit shows, became a member of the ARBA, and that has led me to improve the conformation and qualities of my rabbits to meet the ARBA standard, and I am now starting to show nationally. So I'm going to my first uh, ARBA convention um, coming up in October. Well, Wendy was really impressed with your rabbits at the yeah, state fair. I'm so. so excited. <laughs> They're lovely. Yes, they are. Now, do, do the does just get the tattoos or do the bugs? Everybody the, does. Okay. Yeah, okay. anything that leaves my farm has a year number on it. All right. So All right. um, it's a permanent identifying mark, and I always have my rabbit tree initials SCF in that tattoo somewhere. Mm -hmm. So that just identifies as it coming from Sleepy Creek Farm. Nice. So, nice. And that's nice because I have sold some rabbits um, in other parts of the USA that are doing well on the show table. Mm -hmm. So that SCF year number starts to get known around the nation. Good. So. Good. And does the, the buck that we're buying have the ear tattoo yeah, as well? Yeah, he's already been tattooed. Yeah. Yeah. Usually I get them younger, but sometimes I just get behind on things. And yep. Hi, handsome. There he is. That's right, they multiply. That's they what do. they're supposed to do. do them rabbit math. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see. I have, um, usually I have some of my carry cages down here, but I think I've got them all up oh, in the other we, barn. We put cages in. Okay. So, that's so we'll just uh, pack them on up. What yeah. I'll do, this guy's pretty easy to handle. Okay. So if one of you guys wants to carry him, yeah. he's pretty friendly. So this is the football hold, okay. where basically you tuck their arm under there like you're passing a football and you keep your hand um, over his hindquarters on top of his tail. You've got control of those back legs. If he does start to kind of freak out, you can do an emergency scruff. I don't like to do that to them because it's uncomfortable for the rabbit, but it, it can help with okay. in an emergency. There you go. That's it. And so this hand goes on top. There you go. And this one goes around behind him. <laughs> oh, there's a little face, yeah. So, and see, I, I really don't like to scruff my rabbits, but I will um, use, if I need to pick one up, um, I'll use this as a restraint, but I'm not really picking them up by the ears. I'm just using that as this loose skin right there as, as a handle. But I really, as you saw when I got him out of the cage, I let him know I'm there, and then I try to get up under the abdomen and scoop them up that way um, and get a firm grasp around the ribs. And mine are used to that, you know. By the yeah. time they're this age, they've been handled enough where they can anticipate what's coming. The young ones can be a lot more fun. I have these for when I'm handling and sorting my babies. So they save my hands. So, but after they've reached this age, they've, they've been handled enough. So go ahead. It's all right, sweetheart. Let me get you guys a little bit of food to transition with. One way to recycle containers. <laughs> Don't scare them, Brian. young uh, buck there and these are kind of my the ones that don't go to freezer camp gonna hang out in these grow out cages for a little while and if they get to where they've outgrown that and I haven't sold them and I'm not keeping them then I have to decide whether they're gonna be skewers or not. So these are just all the grow out cages for the young ones. And these are traditional 30 by 30. So they've actually got quite a bit of room in there. This one I call the dollhouse. It's just odd. <laughs> Odds and ends. So we downsized our mule herd so that, well, first of all, we weren't using as many as we used to. So we took a couple of the stalls and converted them into a rabbitry. And about that same time, I bought a herd of whites from another breeder. So this is the same cage design that we mm -hmm. use where it opens up in the middle, but in this case, they're hanging. Um, so they're real easy to maintain. And if you look underneath here, there's actually
see a two by four that it sets into with a couple screws so it's easy just to kind of like lean the cage back there you have something to support it while you're getting it getting wired it up, hung up. Yeah. and then the plumbing is running from the back side so the whole thing just comes out for cleaning very convenient and then we started doing these on just one side of our original cages well they love this i call it the weaning shelf um, now each of our cages has them on both sides because it just adds so much space to them. Yeah, um, I really like that. Just see, I mean, they just love hanging out up there and it allows them more natural movement too. So that's just something as we take out and deep clean the other cages, I'll be adding more of those to it. And of course there's the usual manure and chaos that's built up. But, you know, some of these like this one, these guys are going to come out of here and move to another grow out area today. I've already sorted the keepers from that litter. So that cage will get out and hosed off and then put back in. So. What determines uh, what you're going to be as a keeper? I can show you, um, I'll compare, because I have the keepers set up over here. It's all about confirmation. Um, what makes, uh, these are the more squirrely ones, as you can see. <laughs> um, what makes a good rabbit from an outstanding rabbit? stuff everywhere. I treat for worms and coccidia um, at certain stages of development. Um, so as I sort my keepers out. So this isn't a bad looking rabbit, but it peaks a little early and slopes off in that hind quarter there. Um, I mean, this would have been the best thing I could have possibly ever produced in my barn a few years ago, but where I'm at today, it's not. And it's a little bit pigeon breasted in the front, meaning it's got a really wide set on the shoulder here, but underneath it comes down narrow where the, the breastbone feels more like a, a chicken, you know how they have that narrow breastbone, so that's why they call it pigeon breasted. So those are just some faults, even though you, your eye goes to that top yeah. line, it's not all about top line. They have to have the balance to go with that. So I'll get one of the nice keepers out from this litter. And these guys are just over eight weeks old. ones and then two pretty okay ones. Oh, sweetheart. There you go. So these guys have already been handled and evaluated enough. This one, see how that, that peak comes much further back over that hind quarter? And so that we're not sloping off back here. We stay nice and full all the way down to that table. This width is equal to that depth. A lot of times you get that depth, but they get narrow and slumpy. And here on that shoulder, we're nice and wide on the top, but we're also nice and wide on the bottom, and we don't have that narrowing of the chest cavity. So that's a really nice, well-balanced little guy there. And when they relax, they can just hang out like that in that perfect pose. I don't have to fight this animal to get it to set up and show its features off. So that's just really what it comes down to. Um, is those subtle points in the confirmation, what makes a good rabbit versus an extraordinary rabbit. You know, something that would just be great for, I, I don't even keep these for backyard breeding anymore. They just go straight to freezer camp because out of these four really good rabbits, there's probably only one that's gonna be good enough for me to go through the show circuit with. The other three are gonna be really nice breeding stock for somebody else. Okay. So. So are you selling rabbits all over the country or just locally or? Uh... A lot of locally. Um, as I go to these out of state shows, um, I have pre-sales and stuff. So I have um, some breeders, we call it just the DNA exchange, you know, at our convention, I'll be selling rabbits to other breeders, but I'll also be buying other rabbits from them. Mm -hmm. So there's kind of, um, there's, there's two different qualities of rabbits. There's the brood quality that does really well in the local mm -hmm. circuit for people, you know, that just want to raise some nice, good quality animals. And then there's the show quality ones. There's a certain amount of those that sell locally, but really the, the really top of my breeding stock, um, are going out of state. Um, for other breeders that are in the same league of, yeah. of breeding that I am. So. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, well, thank you so yeah. much for sharing all this with yeah. us. They all make really good. Hi guys, this is my old buck. He's shedding right now. This is actually a retired doe. She's about six years old now. Everybody's blowing their coat. It's just hurricane season. She's one, very rarely do I keep a doe past production. 
but she's done so much for my herd and produced so many fantastic offspring that she just gets to hang out and retire. And she likes this area better than she likes the doe barn. She seems more comfortable <laughs> in the open cage yeah. and where she doesn't have anybody on top or underneath her. So she's pretty content. She just, she's the one that gets to live out her days. show quarantine area but I got a little busy earlier this spring and I still have a couple two mamas with litters in here but everybody else uh, there's been diesel <laughs> he has his pet jug these were all the guys that were at the fair it's almost a staging area for yeah you. it is and it's a place for me to get when the rabbits come back I can put them early good immunity. Um, I don't pussyfoot around rabbit disease. I just face it head on when mm -hmm. it shows up in my barn. I deal with it. Um, I don't keep animals that are weak with a weak immune system. Mm -hmm. So um, I treat preventatively for things that you can treat preventatively for and the rest of it is just hygiene and good genetics. Yeah. So. Yeah. I didn't know this is what I was supposed to be ready for. <laughs> I was looking at them. Okay. Well, we just picked up the rabbits and stopped for lunch on our way home. And uh, I was we really... We left the windows rolled down. It's cold out. <laughs> yeah, the bunnies it's raining. Aren't, bunnies aren't, aren't yeah, it's roasting. not hot in here. <laughs> I was really impressed with that uh, rabbitry operation that we, we got the rabbits yeah. at... Um, what was the name of it? Um, you Sleepy it's Creek. You're the one something who's got the card. We'll, we'll, we'll put a link to it, but... Um, um, yeah, what, what was your impression? Well, I'd seen these rabbits at the state fair, so I, I kind of knew what, what her rabbits looked like. She had several at the state fair, not just some red ones, and they were really beautiful. And I'd actually picked up her card, but then not, it must be in my car somewhere because I couldn't find it. Mm -hmm. And then I was really glad to see her posting because I was like, I know that's that one. And so... Yeah, so I was excited to get these rabbits, which I had already seen some of her, 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 you know, show rabbits, and they were beautiful, so mm -hmm. really, really great rabbits. Yeah. It's good to buy from a nice, knowledgeable breeder, and, you know. Yeah. All right, well, let's get these rabbits home and on their new rabbit pedestals. Yep. All right, we, uh... Just got back from picking up our new red New Zealand rabbits, and uh, our white New Zealand rabbit, Daisy, has been acting like she's pregnant, but we didn't think she was. The person we got it from didn't tell her, tell us that uh, she was bred or have any indication whatsoever, but she's been kind of acting a little, a little funny, and Sure enough, there are little babies in her nest box that we weren't expecting. So Thank goodness we put one in there. Yeah, I'm glad we had the nest box in there. Um, kind of exciting. I think they're cuter when you're, they're your own rabbits. <laughs> Boy, we really <laughs> increased our rabbit production. That's uh, six new rabbits we weren't expecting. <laughs> Good job, Daisy. That's a good bunny. <laughs> what a good little bunny mom. So Wendy's got them all back in the little nest box and she's gonna put them in back in with her mom. Yep, all cleaned up. Don't worry, Daisy. They're coming back. This thing's in the way. 
the last second, didn't ya? <laughs> so was this her, the rabbit's first pregnancy, you think? <laughs> I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, no, I, I, I don't really know anything about this rabbit, I guess. <laughs> Um, Grandma will be excited. <laughs> yeah, my mom. My mom will be excited to yeah, see little will. baby rabbits. And that's gonna be very exciting. Yeah, but I'm gonna be gone next week. Mm. Oh well, you get to take your bunnies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping that I'm hoping the mom bunny Daisy knows what to do because I'm not gonna yeah. know how to take care of little baby yeah. infant rabbits. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have to have a crash course. <laughs> yeah. So this is Marigold. She's our new New Zealand Red that we got from the very excellent breeder we found. And so um, the breeder did breed her and there were two successful breedings and so we hope she's pregnant. Although now we already have some rabbits, so that's <laughs> interesting. But she's a very sweet girl. She got her ear tattooed today, so that's why her ear's down. But um, yeah, we're excited to, to have her on our farm. Let's do one last. And this little handsome boy, this is Clifford. And he's learning his new area a little bit better every time I come say hi. And he's probably, I'm, I'm sure they were a little con concerned that their new home smelled like blood. Because <laughs> of the new babies being born, but hopefully they'll get over that. Um, he's such a sweet boy. He's got such a nice big build on his little body. His head's nice and big. You want to tell them why we named the rabbits what we did? Oh, so Daisy is named after white daisies, and marigold is another flower name, and that's a nice, pretty color that reminded me of, of the red rabbit. So that's why why I named those two that way. And then um, Clifford is named to go along with our other rabbit, George, because. George is Curious George, and this is Clifford, not the big red dog, but the big red bunny. <laughs> yep. Yep. So, let's also meet George. Really a little left out today. No excitement for George. George is our black New Zealand that I got from a 4 h -er. and his bloodlines are a little mixed, so his mama is a... New Zealand white, but um, so we we think, and he, his brother is actually a red, so he's got some interesting coloring going on in him. So I'm excited to eventually be able to breed him to my rabbits and see what kind of genetics I get. But he's got he's got a nice little little back there, and so I'm hoping that he turns out to be a nice strong rabbit. He's a little bit bony right here, but. We'll see how he does. He's a good boy. Before we found out about the new bunnies, I had the ending for this rabbit video kind of planned out. The other day, I caught some cell phone video of Curious George, our friendliest rabbit, hopping around our front yard on a little leash. It's pretty cute. But now, Everybody's probably going to be more interested in the new little baby bunnies. Uh, so I think I'll probably still include that cell phone video, but I'll just uh, kind of maybe incorporate it with a little slideshow of other pictures of our rabbits, and I'll, I'll have some of the new little baby pictures in there as well. All right. 
six. Wait, we really <laughs> increased our rabbit production. That's uh, six new rabbits we weren't expecting. <laughs> Good job, Daisy. Yep, it's a good, exciting rabbit day on the homestead. <laughs> so. <laughs> That's a good bunny. What a good little bunny mom.